Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron 3481 laptop. The regulatory model for this one is a P89G and that information can be found at the bottom of the laptop on the sticker. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can boost up the performance dramatically by just replacing the mechanical drive that it comes in here with a solid state drive. And what are the combination that you can have or if you want to keep your mechanical drive and add a solid state drive for your windows, you can do that on this model. I'm going to go over the uh, combination that you can have what, and what you should have. Just remember once you replace the hard drive, you're not going to have any operating system installed. In the new drive, you have to install it by yourself. I made a video how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive. I made another video how to install it properly on your in their laptop. Those links are in my video description if you guys need to. In this case the client brought me its own SSD drive. This one the gigabyte. You can purchase yours. I would recommend you a Samsung brand. Those are really top of the line but anything is better than mechanical drive. All right first thing first back up your files and turn off the laptop and flip it upside down. Down here you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. We're going to remove all the screws except three of them. The three that we're not going to remove completely are these ones right in here. This one, this one, and this one. So these three screws. We're going to just loose them up because they have a little C-lock on them that will prevent it from coming out. That C-lock has a secondary purpose. I'll show you in a bit. The tool that I'll be using for the removing them is a screwdriver set. I fixed the screwdriver set and we're going to be using a Phillips number one. These screwdrivers are made from the S2 class steel. Those are really is hardened steel. That means they will last you many years. So first thing first, let's go ahead and loosen up these screws. Just rotate until you right click, and then you want to stop. Click, stop. Same thing right over here. Stop. Now the rest of the screws, just remove them. They are the same size and height. Also, if you guys like my video and you want to support the channel, you can do that by clicking the like and subscribe. I will greatly appreciate it. It will be a great motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. Alright, now that we remove all the screws, and for the opening tool, I'm going to be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and cover. Now remember that we, remo we loosen up these uh, screws. And what the C lock it did, it pushed or pulled the bottom cover upward, so it detached it from the palm rest. And you can observe and see that right over here. You can see this gap that is open, that's because thanks to the C locks. Now, all you need to do is to stick your guitar pick right on the continue right here, and then continuing and popping the palm rest. So, what you want to do, let me see if I remove this screw, yes. So, what you want to do, you want to stick it right in the Palm rest right there and just rotate. Do this all around on the front end and towards the left side or right side in this case. All right, to the back corner. Once you finish, just close up the screen. Lift up the bottom cover, wiggle around. If it's not coming this way, just do a little bit more rotation and it will release itself. So there's the bottom cover and there's the C locks which are on the screws. All right. And at the end of the video, I'm going to put the Windows USB and I'm going to show you guys how to install, how to get to the installation menu. All right, right here, you can see the mechanical drive right over here and the solid state can be installed right in here. This is an NVMe hard drive, M.2 PCI Express. That means you can put an NVMe drive right in here, which is way faster than regular SSDs. The NVMe's, they are, let me see if I have one right over here. They are like this, they have a little one notch and you want to bring it, they actually provide you with a screw right here. You can remove the screw, put it to one side, grab the NVMe in about 10 or 15 degree, you want to push it towards the connector, bring it down and put the screw right on it. So you can put your windows in here, you can put up to 4 terabyte NVMe here and keep a 2 terabyte mechanical drive for your game for big files right in here. Or you can even replace this one with an SSD. You can have SSD on both of them. That will be fine. I will recommend you to put your Windows in here and your extra files in here. You can have up to 4 terabyte SSD on both sides or maximum 2 terabyte mechanical drive. Because after 2 terabyte mechanical drive, they will get really thick. 
and it will not go right in place. The NVMe is for demonstration. I'm not actually going to put the client didn't request it. So let's put the screw back in. If, to remove the mechanical drive, there's a caddy, there's a metal bracket that holds the hard drive in place, has a four screws, two, one in here, one at the back, one right there, and one right here. So we're gonna remove these screws. You do not need to remove the battery at all to do this process. It's absolutely not necessary to do it. But for those people that are really paranoid and you, they wanna remove the battery, disconnect it, put your fingernails at the connector right here, and then pull it back and the connector will get disconnected. To put it back in evenly, push it towards the jack. Once you remove the battery, the screws, lift up the hard drive, there's a flex cable. You don't want to move too much that flex cable and detach this adapter down here just with you, my fingernail. I'm just pulling it back gently to not damage this flex cable. Now I remember the orientation, the SATA connection is on that, the power is on this side. Now we need to remove this bracket to put the new hard drive in place. So let's put it here for a second and let's open up our SSD. So we need to put the SSD in the same orientation. You don't want to put it upside down, otherwise it's not going to work. Now what are we going to do? We're going to make sure the orientation are in the same side and we're going to remove the bracket by removing the screws on the side. All right, once we remove the screws, now we're gonna lift up the caddy from here, bring it up and put it right on the SSD. And we can put that hard drive to a side. Now let's go ahead and put the four screws that we removed from the caddy back in its place. All right, now we're gonna grab it and gently we're gonna push that adapter right through here. Bring it down, set it down evenly. Make sure the screw holes match. And you want to put the four screws that you removed from the caddy on the hard drive. All right, once we finish that, if you have disconnected the battery, plug it back together. Now grab the bottom cover, bring it over, set it down, and then push the front end down. Make sure you those click this corner, the back. Do not press on this side. All you need to do is to tighten up the screws and it will pull the cover to itself. And the last thing down here, it will be to just put up the rest of the screws on the bottom cover. Now to boot up from the USB drive, it's easy, just you need to plug in the USB into the, any of the USB ports right in here. And let me plug in the charger, I don't know if he has any charge. Okay. Now, what you want to do, you want to power on and you want to tap F12 right away. Keep tapping on F12 until it sells that entering to the boot menu. Keep tapping on that. It says preparing one time boot. So right now from here, I see right away U UF UEFI my Kingston USB travel. Just gonna click on that. Don't worry about all this uh, artifact that it shows up on the screen. Just be patient. Just wait about 30 seconds, and it will just start booting up to the uh, USB. So I'm just gonna wait for it a little bit. And there we have the Windows logo. Everything is gonna disappear, so don't worry about it. You didn't damage or anything. There we go, now we are inside the Windows uh, menu, installation menu. Again, follow my link for a proper way of installing Windows. Any of them, doesn't matter for HP or any other brand. The steps are really important because if you do it wrongly, they, or let's call it the proper way, you will get lots of bloatware installed, but if you do it my way, you will not have any, any bloatware installed in your system. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe if you like the video.